Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that is a 56 Chev with a 350 under the hood. Look at this beautiful car, man. Look at that color combo. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now what's really cool about this, you can take this baby to a Tri-5 show. There's probably not gonna be another one like this one there, man. This color combo is sweet. And look at the chrome on this thing. All the chrome looks like it's new or been redone. Just beautiful. You see all these emblems. Look how nice those look. Look at that jet airplane up there on top. I love those. As you look down the side of it, she is sharp as can be. All that stainless trim going down the sides looking good. We got the hockey sticks on it looking good. Just everything about it. Wide whites, original hubcaps. Just looking absolutely beautiful. You can see all the trim around the windshields looking good. And of course, they matched up the interior with the outside. Man, look at the look at that. Real close match, man, for uh, interior to paint work. You can see that all the carpeting in there, the door panels, just everything looking sweet on this car. Beautiful steering wheel. The attention to detail on the car is phenomenal. You see the package tray back there is nice and clean. I love all this silver uh, piping in the seats also. Headliners looking good. Dome lights working. All the chrome on the interior is also looking good. The paint on the dash, the chrome on the dash, everything looking good. Give them a good shot of that um, door jam there where the uh, body tag is also. Actually, that's the VIN number, not the body tag. Just looking beautiful, guys. I'm going to reach in here and grab the keys. You can see that the lights, um, the courtesy lights under the dash are working. We've got fender skirts on this thing. The wide whites looking good. The emblems, the stainless, the chrome on the back end looks just as good as the front. Now this is always a telltale sign for you guys who don't know your Chevys very well. The uh, 56 has a bigger tail light and then it's just like a 57. You fill the gas right here. 57 is just a little bit different than that. It's got a little door you open up. But isn't that sweet? Gas fill. Man, that is cool. Tell you what, back in the old days, those guys that used to pump gas by hand, I'm sure they uh, had a hard time finding that baby. And look at that trunk, man. Tell you what, you can go to Costco with this baby and fill it up and put $1,000 worth of groceries in there. Now we do have the uh, Paintwork on the bottom side of the deck lid looking good. Looks like the jack and the spare is in there. And you can see that the outside of the rim there is actually painted body color. So that's very cool. They just did a beautiful job building this car. As you look down the passenger side, looks just like the driver's side. Looking sweet. The car's got a great stance to it also. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we own all our cars. So you know we do our homework before we buy them. Then we're going to put it up in the air and inspect it so we can answer every one of your questions when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. So give him a call anytime. That man answers his phone 24-7 practically. Let's take the 56 for a ride. Got a little surprise under the hood of this baby. We got some horsepower up there, baby. This thing is sweet, man. We got this killer combo on the paint. We got the killer combo on the motor and the trans. It's got a four-speed automatic. So if you want to hop in this baby and jump up on the expressway, 
no problem whatsoever. Driving just as smooth as a brand new 1956 Chev should. Man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And we can park it in your driveway no matter where you live. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is. He'll go through the whole process with you. We can help you out with financing too. Just love the sound of this baby. It sounds amazing. I mean, driving great. I love it. Brakes feel good. Steering feels great. I mean, everything about this thing is sweet, man. Around the corner here. I'll take a look on the dash here. Looks all stock, doesn't it? Just beautiful. The chrome's looking good. See the uh, speedos working there, looking good. We got a tack down here. And of course, it does have aftermarket air conditioning. It looks like the stock controls control it. The steering wheel's all stock. It's looking good. Gonna dodge me a pothole here. We're in Michigan here. We got a few potholes. Now, we are close to the airport, too. So if you'd like to come in and check it out in person and you live a long ways away, hop on an airplane, come visit us. We'd love to have you. And if you happen to see Tom or JD or I at a car show, come on up and introduce yourself. We don't get to meet a lot of our customers because most people buy these things sight unseen. So just get to talk to them on the phone. So I love meeting our, uh, our friends out on the web. Get around the corner here, we're gonna head back to the shop where we're gonna put this baby up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. Now at Vanguard, we put every one of our cars up on the lift. We're right here at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us. This is where we put it up on the lift right now. All right, we're underneath this 56 now, and man, it is clean under here. You can see the dual exhaust coming out. You can see the tank's been restored. You can see the uh, trunk floor is all original, and it's in beautiful shape. This little hump you see here is actually where the spare tire sets. Uh, the inside of the uh, quarters are nice and clean. The wheel wells are nice and clean. Backside, those uh, fender skirts are all painted up looking good. Really solid car here. It's got an original um, type rear end in it, and it's definitely a 336, and it is an open rear end. Now on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order and that they're installed correctly. You see the drive shaft's nicely painted, center section's all nicely painted, the uh, floorboards here, all these braces look like they're original to the car, the floorboards look like they're original to the car, all in beautiful shape. Um, also, these braces out here are something you got to look at on every Tri-5. Those are the first thing to go, especially this back one here. It's still got the little rubber flapper on here too, man. Very, very clean here. Very cool exhaust uh, mufflers here. All stainless looking good. They've got band clamps here, so if you want to take them off, you can. Got the crossover pipe here is bolted in, so if you want to take it off, that's cool. We got some nice plates welded to the inside of the frame here for the bracket for the aftermarket cross member here. They did a beautiful job putting that together. 700 for 700R4 Trans. That's a four-speed automatic, guys, with a real nice uh, shiny billet aluminum pan. Real nice cover on the torque converter also. We got uh, painted headers here. It's got that high heat paint on it. It's looking good. Brand new uh, high uh, volume pan here on the bottom. All the steering gear here looks like it's all brand new. I see a lot of new bolts. Um, I see the uh, bushings and lower control arms. The bush, all the bolts and the uh, dog bones here holding the lower control arms look like they're new. Uh, it's got disc brakes up front. Uh, front bumper looks like a, a redo on it. Uh, it looks like it's got just a little bit of age to it, still in beautiful shape. Um, tires and wheels. These look like, uh, let me see if these are the radials. Coker Classics, yeah, I'm sure they're the radials. Yep, right there, it says radial. Now these are to look like bias ply tires of all um, latter times. 205-75-15s, stock appearing uh, hubcaps too. Hockey sticks looking good. As you go down the pinch weld there, you can see how nice and straight and uh, solid that pinch weld is. Out back, same size, same style tire, same uh, original appearing hubcap. 
And then again, we got fender skirts on this thing. I tell you, I can't tell you how many times I took the fender skirts off my dad's Mercury washing his white walls. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood here, man. You want to talk about bling? This baby's got some bling. It's got an aftermarket core support in it, all nice and shiny chrome. It's got a uh, aftermarket radiator and AC condenser. Of course, that's all aluminum, all polished up, looking like chrome. Uh, you can see everything's been painted up here. You almost can't see where the chrome stops and the black paint starts. I mean, it is all shiny. Um, getting under the hood here, or getting behind the... Uh, core support. We've got uh, alternators polished up. We got all the pulleys polished up. We got the valve covers polished up. Um, all the wiring looks good. We got an aftermarket um, power booster here. They got a chrome cover on the master cylinder. You can see all the lines up here are brand new. You see all the brand new shims and all that down there and uh, upper bushings and the upper control arms looking nice and clean. Um, now I'm going to show you one little thing right here. Stay right there. That little shut off there is for when it's uh, when it's summertime, you want to shut off that hot water going to the heater core so that it doesn't have to compete with the evaporator for the AC. That way you get a little better performance out of your AC. We've got a four barrel Holley carburetor on there. It is dual feed. Looks like it's got an electric choke set up on it too. I mean, the firewall's nicely painted. The bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. As you can tell, I'm in love with the under of the hood of this car. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.